um, tell you a story about me and my cousin when I was about uh, 16 years old. Uh, the significance about me and my cousin is we both grew up in a small town, Panhandle, um, country Oklahoma, and every time we would get together, something bad would happen. Uh, so we got about 5,000 stories, but I'm just going to tell you this one. Uh, we're both very good kids. We always did the right thing. For some reason, whenever we got together, um, nothing good happened. His name was Josh. Um, we competed against each other in sports. We played sports. So we were also very competitive in nature. You know, we always got to brag on each other and whenever each other won. Um, so I played against him in football one night in a small town, and we decided to have a sleepover and uh, goof off a little bit, and we decided about 12 o'clock at night that we were going to have a competition. Uh, we decided that the competition would be that we would, one of us would lay down on the bed, and the other one would stack as heavy objects as we could on each other's head to determine who could take the most amount of weight before you couldn't breathe or just take it anymore. So I go first, and I don't know, I get it about halfway up, and I'm done. And so he's obviously he has to beat me. So he gets down, and I start stacking stuff. And I mean, it's about a 10 foot ceiling, and we get everything about the entire 10 feet. And he starts doing the squirming deal, you know. And uh, so I try to start taking the items off. Well, he kind of needed air really bad, so he decided to get up on his own and the entire pile of boxes and stuff come crushing down. Well, after that, we realized that the wall had been completely scratched up. Um, the big issue with this is we have very heavy disciplinary parents, and his father just got through painting the wall the day before. So it's now his job to go get the fresh paint so we could paint. The wall. So he goes, gets, sneaks over and gets the paint, which is in turn the shed connected to his parents' bedroom. Comes back. Well, we realize that we don't have any paint brushes. So we finger paint all these scratches to try to make it, you know, blend in. About a three-hour process, and we're done. And we get everything put up. We, we're the coolest guys. We fixed the mistake. We're not going to get swatted by the you know, oak paddle or anything in the morning. So in the morning, his dad opens up the door, sticks his head in, and he says, it's time for breakfast, but he takes this pause and looks around like he knew that we did something that we weren't <laughs> supposed to do, but just didn't figure it out. So it was one of those uncomfortable brief pauses that we kind of had to suffer through because we thought that he knew there for a second. Well. He leaves the room, and we think that we're in the clear, and we realize that we had left the paint lid with the paint side up on the top of the pillow as evidence of everything that had happened. And so after breakfast, we had to spill the beans, and we got three swats and owned up to what we did. And that's the story.